hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my ch channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, yet please press the subscribe button today we are going to learn about intro.js which will help you to create an introduction just like this for your website and as you can see if we press ne next it will show us the introduction so today we are going to make this okay so let's start first by going on google and right in the google right here intro js the first link which is intro js.com click on it after that click on get started now scroll down and here you can see free plan click on get started now click on cv engines and copy intro.min.js i will copy this line and come to my code and paste it in the last after the body like this and we have to also copy the css so i'm going to take the minified version this one and i'm going to paste it in top of my code after here So we have su successfully imported the package. Now let's write the code. So let's scroll down to end of our code. And in here I will write a script tag. And in inside that I will write intro js dot set options and steps after that array inside that object and i will write title the title would be will come and i will write an in a small introduction like hello world so after writing that we will have to write here dot start so now let's check refresh our page to see if everything is working fine so as we can see it works fine so now let's continue and add elements inside that so we can easily uh, introduce these cards and menu so let's see how we can we will do it okay so, uh, to create an introduction for uh, any element you have to copy its class name for example i am going to uh, make an introduction for my monthly earnings so i am going to find it here and th this one i uh, the class name is first so i am going to add in here an object create an object for this like this and I will say element and after that document dot query selector and my class name after that I will write the intro for it for example this is monthly income so now let's go and refresh our page okay click next so you see it will automatically come here and write my introduction so let's do for all these cards same thing let's copy find it first okay we have the class name of second third and fourth copy it do same thing for all of them
element dot document query selector and paste our class names here now in here i will write the intro for all of them for example this this is my second card this is my third card and also here this is my fourth card and here uh, not dot we have to write this save and so we have an error let's check okay there is ah we don't have to add this uh, we, we forgot comma in here so now let's go and refresh again mm. so next next so next and there's a small problem that if we re refresh our page again it will show and if you uh, refresh again it will show until uh, we don't close it so we don't want this we want to create something thing that it will after the user click don't show again it should not show to achieve that we have to write here don't show again and set it to true now let's save and refresh our page so you guys can see here uh, there is a checkbox but don't show this again if the user uh, check this and close this it will not show it again hope you like the video and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video thanks a lot